Okay. One last video, or one another video at least. I've gotten a few questions in the past about what is this big thing I got hanging off the side of my blowgun. Well, this is a dual purpose setup here. What I have is this weaver mount that uh, you can buy from UTC and it just clamps around like an end of a gun barrel so you can put a tripod or something like that on it. Well this one has one on each side. They make them with three, they make them with four. Two is plenty for me. Now, what I have here is just a piece of PVC pipe clamped in a scope mount and an elbow. And what y'all see, normally this thing hanging off the side, is if y'all ever see a video of me shooting my gun, my blow gun here, and videoing at the same time, well this is how I do it. I got me a piece of PVC pipe and hose clamp my OtterBox uh, case for my iPhone onto this, and it just clips right in. Well then, I can take my phone, or the, I got the same setup on the camera that's there. I can stick it on, maneuver it to the end of the barrel, and now I can shoot video while shooting my blowgun. Now that's one option for this thing. I also use it for other things. I'll show you right quick. It's very versatile. Anything you can get that has a weaver scope mount on it, lasers, light lasers, anything like that. What I have here is a mag light. Um, you can use a stream light, any light you want. This one's pretty bright, even during the day. Uh, this is for whenever I want to go shooting frogs at night or something like that. It don't take very good video with it on there, but nevertheless, it's good for, like I said, shooting frogs and stuff like that at night. So I usually take this one off, and I'll mount this on. Just give you a quick demonstration of how it looks. All right, and then it stays on there like this. Now you can also put a, a light on there if you wanted, or uh, not a light, but a laser if you wanted. The only thing about putting a laser on the end of it is you've got to aim over what you're aiming at, what you're wanting to hit. So, at least at the distances I shoot. So, in order to do that, technically your laser would have to be like at an angle, canted underneath it, which you could do that. You'd have to have a bubble level on top to uh, double, double make sure there. But you could have an angle, maybe under it, maybe with a dial on it. It comes up and down. I may wind up trying to make something like that. But anyway, I can turn this light on, and it's right down the side of my barrel. And that's just one little option, you know, things that I add to mine to uh, make it a little more versatile, a little more fun to use. And uh, so just um, got any other suggestions, comments, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Thank you for your views. Thank you for your support. See you on the next video.